Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about the WHERE clause. Now this chapter is revolves around the idea of the WHERE clause and how we can work with it and why it's so important. Uh, the WHERE clause tells the database to constrain the result set. And it usually comes after the FROM clause and it contains Boolean expressions. Whenever uh, the result, uh, whenever we uh, execute our query with the WHERE clause, the database filters the rows of records in the result set and if the expression within the WHERE clause evaluates to true, then the, the, the uh, result set will be retrieved. So it only and only if the expression is true, the row or the record will be part of the result set. And finally, the WHERE clause can have more than one Boolean expression. So in this lecture, I'm going to give you the first example, which is we're going to work with the word clause in the context of the select statement. So first off, so if I run it, it is going to automatically grab the Halali DB. Let's go to some tables here. So I'm going to go to the countries table. Now here we have, um, I could grab another table, doesn't really matter. We're going to work with most of them. So don't worry about it. Now let's say we want to grab the countries, the country for which, um, let's say we want to grab the country for which the country ID is AU. Let's say we want to grab that country. So first off, we are going to say select, then I'm just going to pass in, first I'm going to create all the clauses first. So I'm going to say where, so in the where, what, what we are looking for? We are looking for the country equal to AU. Country ID equal to AU. Perfect. Let me terminate that. From which table it is. So it is from table countries. And I'm going to alias it as A, not A, C. And then I'm going to say, which column do we want to retrieve from it? I want to grab the country name. That's it. So I'm just going to say country underscore name. So now when this Boolean expression that I've highlighted uh, um, evaluates to true, we are going to get a result. If it doesn't, we are not going to get anything from the database. So when the database runs this, the database is going to think, okay, so this guy requires a column from me. So which table does it belong to? It belongs to table C. Well, that doesn't make sense. We don't have a table C. Then it comes to this from clause. It says, oh, so C is an alias for the table countries. Okay, now I get it. Then it is it, it is going to look for the semicolon and it's going to find the semicolon right here. So it's it, it comes to the where clause and it thinks, it looks at it and it says, okay, so I need to give him this country ID, whichever row that has a country ID equal to AU. So first off, let's go to the countries table, then go to the country name call, uh, then go to, after the countries table, let's take a look at this table, if it has a country ID. Yes, it has. And what was it? It was AU. So let me look in inside of it. So there we go. So we do have it. So what what which column does this guy require? It require he requires the country name. So let me just give him Australia. So in that case, if I run it, um, we do have an error here, and it says country name. So country name is it country underscore name from countries? Everything is. You have an error in my SQL syntax. Um, hmm. save this. Let me run it again. There we go. So it got me the uh, C, uh, the Australia from there. So that is how this where clause is going to work. So this Boolean expression uh, evaluates to true. Then it is going to return something. Otherwise, it's not going to give us anything. And basically, whenever we want to retrieve data, in this case, we retrieved our data conditionally. Instead of like, if I were to like say, no, we don't have the where clause here. And if I were to run this, we are going to get all the countries. But aside from, but in um, as opposed to it, 
we basically said that we want to constrain the result set. So the result set returns all the countries. When we constrain it, we uh, like put a limit on it in common terms. Then it is just going to abide by that limit that we have specified for it. And then it is going to give us Australia. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.